What's up? Hey, what's good, my people? Welcome to my channel. My name is Darius Person. Inspiration, hope, and life sums up this channel. Let's get into it. So me and my wife been watching hoarders, which I don't know about hoarders. Hoarders are people who store up or hide away things. And on the show, they have counselors who specialize in helping people with hoarding disorders. And they know going into the people's houses that it's a deeper issue beneath the surface of why they're hoarding. I wanna ask you watching, whoever you are, wherever you from, whenever y'all see this video, today, next week, next year, what ideas are you hoarding? The reason that we're not releasing ideas is because of something beneath the surface. So I'll be transparent with y'all. So years ago when I was doing music, I knew I had many ideas for songs, but I didn't release them because of a fear of being disappointed from results and lack of support from friends. So I was like, man, I got this dope song, but I don't wanna release it because people gonna hate on it. Or my friends not gonna support me because I'm, because I'm trying to be legit now, things like that. And the Lord began to deal with me about that. So I was putting my trust in man more than God. When God tell you to release something or when he lead you to do something, you do it, no matter if people support it or not. You have to do what God told you to do. And it's not all about you in the first place. It's about God's glory. And we don't release things because we want the glory. and We want the credit, but God is like, the idea you have really came from me. It's for my glory and I want to use you for my glory. We have to pray against the hoarding mentality. It can be a stronghold. So in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus tells a parable about a master who left his service with some bags of silver. And when the master came back, there was one man who did it, invested well. Then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth look, here is your money back. So the issue was he was afraid. Like that was the issue beneath the surface. He was afraid. So we hid it in the earth. He, he hoarded it. But the master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. So laziness is the issue beneath the surface. If you knew I harvested the crops I didn't plant and got the crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have got some interest on it. So he says, at least, I could have got something back from it. So for you, if you're hoarding things in, at least tell somebody about it. At least do something with it. So what is the issue for you? Is it laziness? Is it fear of being disappointed? I don't know what it is, but get to the root of it. So I better not come to your house and I see boulders of ideas stacked up to the ceiling and all over the floor. We're gonna have some problems. But speaking of releasing, I released my new book months ago called Sports Was a God, The Search Beyond the Game. Check it out. A big part of my story was that apart from being an athlete, I didn't know who I truly was. This book is inspiration for athletes who are searching for life, purpose, and identity beyond sports. And maybe don't even realize. Enjoy sports, enjoy your sport. But who are you apart from it? That's the issue we should tackle now because eventually it will fade. We live in a huge sports era now, bigger than it's ever been, and this resource is needed. My name is Darius Person, former high school and collegiate athlete in sports. What's the guy?